My name is Mohamed Sidibe, ex-professional footballer for Swansea, Gillingham and my last club, Stock City. So I was born in Mali, uh, but I left at the age of two uh, for France with uh, my mom, my dad and uh, my little sister. So I grew up in France. Uh, this is where I learned everything, obviously football. And um, at the age of uh, 21, um, I left France for, for England. Uh, so I went on trial uh, to my first club, Swansea. Uh, so luckily, I would say I had, uh, I had um, a young lad who came from Senegal in my area. And uh, I, I was just enjoying watching him play football and doing keep-ups and, uh, and stuff. So, so I, thought, I thought, yeah, that's probably something uh, I will want to do. So I went with him um, to sign for my, my, uh, my first club at the age of 10 uh, in Bagneux, in Paris. So this is where everything starts for me. I start enjoying the football and uh, slowly, slowly around the, I think age of 16, I thought that's something I will want to do as a, as a job. Uh, so I, I work hard. It was not easy. I played. Uh, I played in defense all 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 uh, all of my my youth. You know, I always play center back, left back, and then my last season when I feel like everything is 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 probably finished for me because at 21, obviously is uh, is a, is a bit late to become professional. So I decided to 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 enjoy myself. So I asked to play up front, and I think that's what make uh, make me. Who I am today and uh, and become professional. So that season I played up front and uh, I scored 14 goals in 20 games. And from there, my teammate who was an agent at that time, he decided to to send me on trial in uh, in Swansea. And and from there, everything went well and uh, I signed my pro my first professional contract. So now I have a bigger challenge for you. So you need to control Bayan, she's loose in the arena and you need to try to do two things to start. Okay. One is try and make her go between those cones, left and right, doesn't matter which direction. It's better if you go up, but doesn't matter. You can't touch her, but you can do whatever you want with the stick. Try and start very light and gentle, increase the pressure if needed, do whatever with your body and make her run or move or walk with you. Are you scared? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's easier to control the world than the I know. You said that's all. It's easier to control a ball. Okay. Yeah. So whenever you're ready. Let her take some of her energy out. She's excited a little bit. You're allowed to touch her at a couple of times to start, just to say hello. Maybe rub her with the stick, if you like, yeah? But from then, you basically need to just guide her with the stick or without the stick, as you wish. Try and guide her to the cones. <laughs> yeah. When you're ready. Come over here. What's her name? Hi, her name is Bayan. Bayan? Bayan? <laughs> keep, keep going, keep going, brother. Huh? Keep going. Bayan? Come here. <laughs> Bayan is... Didn't give me any tips or anything. I want to I'm not as nice as you. <laughs> I can't run after her. <laughs> I'm loving this. Okay, I'm going to start giving you some tips. Okay. Horses communication is pressure and release. Okay. Pressure and release. 
and they mainly understand that they're doing something you want or something you like by the time of release. So when you apply pressure, they might think you want something. Okay. When you release the pressure, you go quiet or you move back, they think it, they might be doing something you're looking for. Okay. Hopefully this tip helped you and I might give you more tips when I think. <laughs> Good, just keep in mind the release on time. Yeah, keep in mind the release. They understand from the release. Pressure when you're not happy and release when you're happy. Think about that. Yeah, I mean, you, you, run, you, you did run after football all your life. <laughs> run after a horse a bit. <laughs> keep, keep trying, take it serious, brother. Come on, come on. Come here. <laughs> keep going, keep on it, keep on it. Run. Okay, you have a problem with the moment of release. So as soon as she look at you, I'm going to give you more detail. As soon as she look at you, you stop. Ah, I see what I mean. And you even move back. When okay. she comes to you, don't make any noise. She wants her to come to you. When she's coming to you, no pressure. Voice clicking, any voice is a pressure. So clicking Go clicking. quiet, no. When she's coming to you, welcome her by being quiet and even move back away from her. It's the opposite than human. This is how you welcome, welcome a horse, by you moving away from them. So running after her, that's no good? It's good when she's running away from you. This is when you put pressure because you're not happy because she's running away from you. Okay, okay, as soon as she faces you, release. Okay. Move away, yep. Now you can go to her quiet, very quiet, and give her your first touch. Or let her sniff you with your hand. See how that works. Don't worry, she doesn't bite on Wednesdays. <laughs> give her a nice rub now, rub her, another touch. Good, and rub with the stick. Rub her with the stick. Yeah, yeah, on, the, on her body. Yes, good, good, good. Now try and guide her to, towards here somehow. You, you've got the stick, you can't touch her, but you've got the stick, think how you can guide her. I might give you more tips. Good. Now it's Shadi's turn. So we'll try to do some keep ups. I think that's probably the, the easiest part and this is what I enjoy also doing. And this is why I went to, into football, watching my friend doing some keep ups. So we're trying to do a few. Like just relax, you know, just relax, take your time. You see? Relax, relax. Relax, take your time. If you can do at least five, okay. would be good. <laughs> okay, so. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Freeze, no bad. One. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Come on. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there, unlucky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> no bad. No bad.
So I would like you to try something different, which asking Bayan to lay down on the, on the ground. Uh, just think about how you can make her understand you want her to lay down on the ground. <laughs> try, try, go towards her. It's gonna end with some successful stuff. Keep going, keep going, you're doing well. Keep going. And Rabha, release, release. Good. <laughs> She's done it. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel with this experience? That's yes. very good, I enjoyed it. That's very good. Brilliant. Right. I have to like, control the horse. It is tough, but it's very interesting. Yes. It's very interesting. And um, when you manage to do like a simple thing, you know, just when she comes to you, yes. it's a nice feeling. It's good. I enjoyed it. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. And thank you so much, Mamadi. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.